All right, let's go. Let's go there. Okay, here we go. We're going to finish this out. They are working at beneath minimum wages in the cotton fields of Mississippi for $3 a day, in houses as mains as $8 a week in Montgomery, Alabama. Help themselves. Now we want a $2 minimum wage so that Negro people who are working and deserve a decent wage shall have it. Now you'll say to me, but Mr. Rustin, my father owns a little store and he couldn't possibly pay $2 minimum wage. If he owns a tiny little store, you're probably right. I want to help him too. <laughs> oh, I want to help everybody. <laughs> if we can subsidize Mr. Rockefeller's and Mr. Harrington's railways for billions of dollars, and if we can give farmers billions of dollars because they don't plant, or because they plant here, or because they burn this crop and save this one, then I am for a $2 minimum wage in which those employers who cannot afford truly to pay it receive subsidies from the government in order to pay it. I am not for brutalizing the poor small businessman, I am for helping the worker who is exploited. And if to do that we have to help the small businessman, amen. So let me be clear here, because I know I might be sounding a little bit harsh. Would it be terrible to have more black owned uh, small businesses? No. If you want to go out and support black owned businesses, fine. But let's not pretend this is going to really improve the conditions most black people face only by expanding the public sector, expanding high quality public employment and reviving the trade union movement. Can we do that? I'm so glad that's over. First of all, fuck that dude. Yep. 100%. Uh, fuck, what fuck a big, him, big, 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 big. Go ahead. <laughs> what a railroad tie. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I think this too, man. I, I, you know, this whole would it, would it be so bad if we had more black, white, small business? Man, fuck you. We don't care what the fuck you think or want for us. You obviously don't want shit for us. You know what I mean? You're not talking about our repair. You know, you you, you mentioned all this shit about how we were fucked over, but you're not talking about how to make up for that. You just nope. want to erase history, at least, except for the pieces you can use, you think you can use to to, to cope this on, onto your side. You just you just want us to forget about all that, you know. For, forget about your problems <laughs> and keep it pushing and and jump onto your bandwagon. But you're not talking about fixing shit. He you're talking about us he on some jungle books. Shit. To the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, what is that? No, that's Lion King, right? That Akuna Matata shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, call, we call him him and uh him and Anna Simone and Pumba. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> we won't say which is which. I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> My bad, John. What you got? Uh, nah, nah, mud. You got something, cousin? Nah, I ain't even you. I was gonna say, there's a lot of coon in his matata. That's cold, but fuck him. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that. That was wonderful. Oh, right, I think we, oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's where everybody good. Everybody got, so, got their little final good thoughts. Game. Fuck you, Paul. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your couch. <laughs> <laughs> you the team. And the horse you rode in on. <laughs> you the team. The guy that told it to you. Fuck all that. Yeah, all of this. <laughs> so he ran, he said all this bullshit and didn't have um solution the first, except more no. unions, which niggas don't get to be in charge of or really get mm. too, too much from. Like, okay. So again, a bunch of people running their mouths with no solutions for 2021. So, okay. <laughs> like, like I said, I'm so tired of people talking to me because, like, I don't even mind that people ignore Negroes. But, like I said, if you were fixing poor white people, like, some some Negroes would get, like, slapped in. Like, we would get pissed down, you know, trickle down, right? We, we would get a little bit of trickle. 
But y'all not even doing that shit. So I can't take you seriously. Like y'all are just out here gaslighting me. And I'm tired of walking around with my hair singed and my fucking skin with all this fucking burning ash on it. Because y'all stay <laughs> fucking pissing on me with your gaslighting. Just <laughs> fucking piss <and> flamethrower <laughs> all the goddamn time. So that's where I'm at. Yes, like this shit is so, it's so pathetic. Like, oh my God. Like, you mm -hmm. people, you bunch of people. Like, I've had it, like, for real, for real. Like, this dude was like, let me tell you why black capitalism is it and why we shouldn't do that. But, hey, you know what we should do? You niggas should go join unions. Oh, you can't get a job? Well, fuck it. Like, <laughs> like mm -hmm. you show this old ass video where this dude's talking about how only a quarter of black people are unemployed. Motherfucker, only... Only a quarter of black people have been un we ain't had them lower unemployment numbers since that fucking video. Like, come on. Like, y'all make me sick. I'm tired of this shit. And let's just keep it a buck. Like, we are moving into a world where everybody's not going to need to work. And we need to start having real conversations about what is the value of people without them having to give you labor for it. Because it's coming. Like... Unless we just let mm -hmm. these greasy, these greedy fuckers use all the robots for themselves and we pay them for these robots, which will be some bullshit. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it's coming. Like, it's a whole new world. And we are living 50 years behind. And the only reason why this country sucks like this is because, like I said, everybody just sitting around like, oh, well, things will get better. Okay. Maybe they will for you and your kids. But for a lot of you, y'all, y'all, your life is gonna suck, and your grandbaby's life's gonna suck. Are you willing to deal with that? Mm -hmm. Like that's just what it is. And if you're not willing yep. to fight for your future grandbabies, then fuck you. You ain't shit. There it is. There it is. I may talk. I I may give my granny a hard time about her not being in the fight, but great granny left me a house. Granny gonna leave me a house. So she might not have been mm -hmm. out fighting for all of y'all, but her, but my family show was fighting for me. Y'all got that? Like, like, so if not, we got to get out here and fight for each other. But like I said, people like this dude are a problem. He like I said, he didn't present no fucking solutions. He's just like, Man, this is one. what's not gonna work. We already know this shit's not gonna work. We said this shit a year and a half ago. And you're boring as fuck. You're so goddamn dry. Like even like, mm -hmm. oh, and upcoming next, and I'm a history teacher. <laughs> I feel bad for your students. Oh my you, God. Teachers like you are the reason I used oh. to fucking draw on my arms in class. Like, oh. fuck you, you boring <laughs> ass motherfucker. You're so boring. Yes. You're yes. so boring. He's yes. boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all go ahead. I'm sorry. We're going to have like the 8 million hour <laughs> exit. Why well, just drag him for filth because he's just so boring. Like, this was excruciating. This was a long ass two hours. You're not as bad as Bree Bree, but. Y'all should date. <laughs> mm. oh, Y'all can have some dry ass children. Y'all can have some dry ass. <laughs> chill. Everybody chill out. It's all love. We all black. We all I'm not saying that same. we're not all black, but some of us are some dry ass blacks. <laughs> this is all ashy good. ass black. Dry, dry, powder kicking dry. Like, ugh. <laughs> All right. But go ahead, what y'all got? Thanks, What's up, John? What's up to me, man? No, <laughs> Sam, chill out. Relax, all right? All right you chill, <laughs> man. Like, god damn. Like, you ain't got to eat. That's, a, that's another episode. That's another chill. But this shit right here, like, what he, like, his whole argument started, like, he was using black capitalism basically as a, if I mean, as the face of, like, American capitalism as a whole and shit like that. So he's playing. And it's fucked up. Like, he's playing Malcolm X speeches about, like, you know what I mean? Like, being able to have autonomy in your community in the 60s and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, he's playing these speeches as, like, the, the nigga sound like a right winger. You know what I mean? He sound like a right winger. Look at this. Look, look, look at him. Then he played his fake mm -hmm. film. Like, so it come back all the way around to the film he just do what he just played. This dude that he just played, obviously, he has left leaning uh, intuition or whatever like that. But even he said, like, yo, if we could subsidize motherfucking big businesses, we could subsidize. At the end of the day, like, the pay, of course, my main focus is the worker, but we should subsidize black businesses, though, small black businesses. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when his whole, his whole shit was to demonize small black businesses to get us on some old fuck black, for me, black business ain't shit. This, this, this the mm-hmm. game. He playing the game and shit right now. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? You know what I mean? And like white folks are gonna give up, give up their family business when, when, this, when the shit is, when, this, when their, their utopia appears. Fuck like, like John it's talks about this family all family. the time. John talks about all the time about how they say they want socialism, but that ain't real socialism. Tell me again, John. It's not, it's, Call it's not real out. socialism. You want people to own, feel like real shit. Like you feel me? Like you're, you're you want to keep your shit intact. Like you know what I mean? Like you want to be able mm-hmm. to subsidize like your shit. Right? Like of course, like it's really like real. So like it's basic human needs. Like you're not talking about real socialism with the workers. Well, everybody in Walmart got an equal say in what Walmart do. Like, come on, man. You, you're you not talking about that. You're talking about the Walmart workers having a place where they can unionize and have a say when they go to the CEO. Like, on some real shit, you're not talking about getting rid of the boss. You're talking about giving the workers more of a say in the, tell me how they work and what they work and what they work mm-hmm. or whatever like that. You're not talking about getting rid of the boss. You act like you're talking about it, but you're not. Because you want to be a boss. Like, you want to own your, you feel me? Like, you exactly. want to be the capital work exactly. and then have your own shit. But take care of your people, but have your own shit. Like, you're lying. You're lying and you're trying to get black people because you know we hurting. You know we don't got nothing. So you like your real shit. We gonna, you feel me? We gonna start from scratch. But everybody else gonna keep it. But like y'all said, like Sam, what y'all said, we gotta keep that shit from the, from the beginning. We gonna start from scratch though. We gonna keep that wealth left over from the beginning though. You know? <laughs> then, and then it's gonna be a new cycle. <laughs> like, yo, what the fuck is he? Like, real shit. Like, and then his overall goal was like unions, public sector jobs, more... Like, yo, we, we gotta go to the government, but you ain't say nothing about reparations, though, right? You ain't say nothing about repair in, in the specific black policy for us, right? You know what I mean? Like, they ain't, you feel me? The goal is to get everybody some. That's fucked up. That's all I got to say about this shit. This is some bullshit. J. Cole, low brother, yeah. J. Cole, make a song about this nigga. Get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. Yeah. Play him like Lil yeah, Pump. Yeah. Play him like Lil Pump. Get him out of here. Get out of here. It, this, 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 it just occurred to me. That this dude um, is like, he's like, um, he's like those dudes, those those street harasser dudes, and you know who who would talk to a woman, and the minute they don't get what they want, they turn to violence. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what these people remind me of. Now, you know, we, we turned them down again and again, and now they mad. Fuck okay, you, ugly well, ass. Black capitalism ain't, ain't shit. shit. <laughs> you ain't shit. I knew you went you to see your mama was this shit. You know, I said you yeah, look I good, would, and I would have took you Nobody wants your ugly ass. <laughs> I get bitches like you all the time. Yeah, hey, this, yeah, this, this is what they, they're like right now. They, they going through, they going, they working through some shit. You know, I'm, and, and all their plans to attract black people have, have, have imploded, absolutely imploded. You know, because they so don't I speak our get, language. They don't understand. No, and they don't want to learn it. And they don't care. No, absolutely not. And now it's coming out, and and these folks, and they're getting, and they're getting further and further away from power, further and further away. And it's and it's and it's sad on one side, and the other side of me is like, well, fuck you, get what you deserve, you get the politics you you, you fight for. You know what I mean? All right, Mud, what you got? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I just want to agree. Like, I don't understand the strategy behind this. Like, strategy. Yeah. (laughs) The only reason why they would continue to bring up black issues, even though they they want to ignore black issues, is because they realize they need our support. Mm -hmm. So the idea would be to, like, find something that is going to galvanize this audience that you're trying to target. This ain't it. I don't know what this was supposed to be. I don't know why they think like doing these things over and over again is going to like attract a black audience when this is only going to speak to the white people who want to ignore our issues already. They want to pretend absolutely, like absolutely. They, they want to pretend like they're they're our supporters. They want to pretend like we're in the same fight together but they don't want to do anything that's actually going to involve us. (laughs) They want to have these Mm -hmm. like token people and especially these racially ambiguous, I don't know what's going on type motherfuckers that they be finding 
Um, you preaching. Thank you for throwing that out there. Racially ambiguous. I was like, this mm-hmm. dude looks like how my brother would look if he had bad skin and um, was less attractive. Yeah, head. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> but really, it's this thing where like they think they're they're maxing out diversity by finding these people that like fit into a bunch of different boxes or could fit into a bunch of different boxes. And if those people are saying that these things that they want to hear, then obviously it must be the most progressive thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of bullshit. And like it, what it really comes down to is the, the shit we've been preaching this whole time. You're not going to get black people on board unless you come to us and be for real about doing the right thing as far as reparations is concerned. Like Mm -hmm. we we're in a mess and we're like bleeding out of everywhere. And the only thing that's going to fix it is a big fucking program that is meant to transform our lives. Yep. And without that, you won't get us. Yeah. Yeah, and and th- those are all excellent points. But I'm gonna leave y'all alone because it's time to go. You listening to reset? Re- oh no! We- <laughs> all right, Sam, you got anything else? No, I I think we're good. We we said what we had to say. Like I said, this dude didn't really have anything. He didn't really bring anything to the table. Like I said, I'm bored not, with these. Not people. even a personality. Like, oh my god, they're so dry. Like, oh my god, I hate this YouTube world where any dry ass person can just like get on camera and just be like hey i'm dry but i'm backed by white people so here you are enjoy your saltines <laughs> like, <laughs> like my mouth is so dry for watching this shit like, <laughs> it's terrible it's uh, no. we, <laughs> you got me feel sorry for the dude no. now God damn. <laughs> it's not our fault he's boring these people are boring <laughs> Jesus, like yes, I said, for yes. all this, and it's just like at the end of the day, like, what were your solutions for us to join unions? Like, bruh, what about what about the forty percent of Black people are like unemployed? Come on, mm-hmm. like, can we start an unemployed union? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, federal jobs guarantee. Yeah, I'm this, telling this you, this is some wild shit. It's just yeah, terrible. I, I, it, yeah, you, you, that's an excellent point you made, uh, Sam, that, that, you know, that they don't have any solutions for 2021, the real world we're in. You know, it's, it's wild. It's wild. All right, family. That's it. We done. That's it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for checking us out. Um, hopefully we'll see you again next week. And uh, make sure to, to, um, to follow everybody on, on Twitter and wherever we are and uh, see Mud beat people up on Clubhouse. It's like Fight Club over there. And uh, <laughs> whole house over at the whole house, <laughs> we'll take it. All right, family, everybody be good, and we'll see y'all next time. Listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Uh, uh, you're listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Why put them back on the grill again? We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Back on the grill again, we grilling them up. You're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America make great. America uh, great. You're tuned in to Reset Race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to Reset Race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you're tuned in to Reset Race. You'll find out who really about justice and really who we fake. On the edge, go back to U.S. Southern plantations. Penny's, Jim Crow, and mass incarceration. Redlining lynchings, we are old from this nation. You're not about justice if you ain't for reparations. MG, the wise one, cousin mother intellectual. Samantha bringing fire, anti-black, we pressing you. No permanent friends and no permanent enemies. The backbone of the country, the way you need our energy. You gon' see, listening to Reset Race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, uh, you're listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, back on the grill again. We grilling them. Uh, you're listening to reset.
set race. Ain't those need reparations to make America make great. America uh, great. You're tuned in to reset race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to reset race. We focused on our justice plan. We know what is at stake. Uh, you're tuned in to reset race. You'll find out we're really about justice and really who we think. Uh, Until you do right by me, everything you think about is gonna crumble. white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, Today, many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with, and this is the reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. 